Hey, what's going on, everybody? Steve here, Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Come back to you with another video. Now, I'm super pumped up for this video, guys, because if you take a look, I hit $100,000 in the last 30 days in my eBay to Amazon flipping business, which is just phenomenal. I am so happy to be able to celebrate that with you guys. And it's crazy thinking back seven, eight, nine years ago when I would just be going to Goodwills and Salvation Army. And I remember just being so grateful to not be working at the Cracker Barrel, right? To not have to clock in. And I'd have days where I'd make $100 a day. And it was like, I was so pumped up. And, you know, and that's fantastic. That's great, right? Um, but now, six, seven, eight, nine years later, having yesterday I had a $7,000 day. This month, $100,000 I just hit for the last 30 days, which is crazy. So, you know, I'm grateful, excited to share with you guys uh, some tips. And in this video, I actually wanted to share the seven tips that I can give to you folks, which helped me to take my sales from last year. I did about 300,000. This year, I'm going to do, you know, 650 maybe. Um, just in the last month, 100,000 in sales. Matter of fact, in the last month alone, if you're wondering how much profit I made, I'm close to 25,000 in profit. And I actually shared all my go-to lister numbers on Instagram, or you can check the YouTube community tab. I share the exact breakdown and you can see how many items I sold, listed, my actual profit because I put in my buy costs and it takes out all expenses and everything like that. So definitely go check that out if you're not following me. But essentially in this video, I want to share the seven things, seven takeaways, which has really helped me in my business to make six figures plus profit to grow my sales from just doing, you know, $50, $100 days to now two, three, five, seven thousand $7,000 days, which is crazy, okay? Now, I do want to say this takes hard work. Don't think this is a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not. Um, you know, anybody could flip an item from eBay to Amazon. Anybody could go to a thrift store. Anybody could sell a couple of items. But there's a big difference between being a hobbyist and selling a few items versus building a business out of it. I mean, I'm only spending... Honestly, sometimes five, six hours per week on this business right now. I actually just um, started using a prep center, so I'm spending even less time right now. Um, but yeah, my business model is 99% eBay to Amazon. I buy items from eBay. They come to my house or a prep center. We, you know, we prep them, we list them, price them, condition them, ship them, label them out to uh, label them, ship them out to Amazon FBA, and we essentially get paid and they do everything else. So. In a nutshell, that's what I do. But let's get into the seven things that really were a game changer for me, okay? Number one, virtual assistants. I can't say this enough. If you want to go from hobbyist to business, which means you're making money without having to rely on you, always having to do everything, which I did for the longest time, from 2022 to 2023, I really invested in my virtual assistants. So I invested in my virtual assistants to take on a lot more responsibility for sourcing. So my VAs right now, they're spending anywhere from thirty to forty thousand dollars per month buying items from eBay that we flip on Amazon. So this year alone, I mean, I spent so much time training them, quizzing them, putting th them through tests. I mean, I spent hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours training them on everything from analyzing, sourcing with Flipmine, using Keepa, Seller Amp, um, avoiding IP complaints. I mean, the list goes on and on, and there's like fifty million different nuances. So. Um, that was the big thing for me. I had VAs in 2022, but this year I really invested, right? I made them family. I spent so much time and energy training and just working with them. And matter of fact, if you want to hire your first VA, but you don't want to have to train them on every little tiny nuance and spend hundreds of hours, consider checking out the VA Training Academy. That was a program that I put together about six months ago with Joji. We have, I think, 70 plus videos, we have quizzes, we have tests, we have a whole exam that VAs have to go through. We teach you how to hire them, excuse me, train them, um, every little thing that you need to know. So definitely check that out. It's actually 50% off for Black Friday, so you can check that out down below. Um, but virtual assistants, huge, absolute game changer. And I'm telling you right now, if you are serious about scaling your business, not only monetarily and just making more revenue and obviously you want to make more profit. But if you want more freedom, if you want someone to do most of the sourcing for you, repricing, um, they fix stranded inventory, high pricing errors, they run numbers for me, they fill out spreadsheets, my E2A master sheet. I mean, they do literally everything in the business. I pretty much just oversee it. VAs and investing in your team, absolutely huge. Number two, I expanded from DVDs into electronics and tools, okay? 
So this was a big game changer for me for a couple of reasons. Number one, DVDs are fantastic, but everybody and their mom is going after DVDs. They're easy to get ungated in. Um, they're typically lower ticket. Um, they're easier to analyze, right? They're a bit more safe in terms of like when you're running your numbers. Now there are risks of counterfeits and whatnot, but um, in a nutshell, I expanded from items like electronics and tools. I got into you know consumer electronics, business and industrial. Um, it was a big game changer for me because the ASP was much higher. The items would turn a lot quicker. Some people weren't you know willing to get ungated for these items. And um, I'll just tell you right now, like in terms of 2022, I was like 90% DVDs. Now I would say I'm probably 80% tools and electronics. So um, if you're not already a part of my eBay to Amazon masterclass, that's 50% off Black Friday. You can check that out down below. But if you're already a part of the masterclass and you're like, listen, I want to get my sales above 5 to 10K. I want to scale faster. I want to get in a higher ASP. Obviously, there's some risks involved, you know, when you get into electronics and tools, just like anything. Don't let anybody blow smoke up your you-know-what and make it sound like everything is easy and there's no risk. There's risks, okay? Uh, I can't even say that word, risks. <laughs> but uh, I can only share what I'm doing. So if you're not in the masterclass, get the masterclass now. It's 50% off, rakeandprofit.com slash E2A masterclass. If you're already a part of that, then you know I have an electronics and tools program as well, which you, che you can check out at rakeandprofit.com slash electronics. But don't get that 50% off unless you go through the masterclass. The masterclass is everything you need to know, like everything I've learned over the last two years. It's almost like going into, I don't know, kindergarten or elementary school, right? Um, and there's a lot to know, right? It's not like some basic stuff you're just going to find on YouTube, but go through the masterclass first and then you could go into, uh, you know, middle school, high school, college, right? For eBay to Amazon flipping with the electronics and tools, uh, masterclass and, uh, you know, maybe consider getting the VA training Academy as well. But that was the biggest thing for me. Number three, focusing on higher ticket items. I can't say this enough for me using my cash as a tool and just going after items that, you're, you know, we're selling for at least 50 to 60 bucks was a big game changer for me because, you know, we only have a certain amount of capital to spend. And every time we spend capital on lower ticket items, we're having to spend more time having to process them, dealing with pricing errors, stranded inventory, prepping them, listing them, shipping them to yourself or prep centers. So I figured it would be a lot less work to deal with higher ticket items. So I would deal with less items individually. And it worked out great for me. I was able to really focus on uh, quality sourcing and going after the right items and good items with good sell through rates, which I'll talk more about. But focusing on higher ticket items helped me to raise my ASP from $38 in 2022 to now it's over $70. Thanks to tools and electronics. I still do DVDs. Um, I don't do books too much anymore just because I had gotten a counterfeit a while ago. And I'm just like, you know, I'm going to stay away from books for now. I don't even need books. And but books are great. Like my buddy Joji sold hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of books from eBay to Amazon and Amazon to Amazon um, doing books. So books are still great. I just don't personally do them that much anymore. Number four, sending best offers and sending messages. Okay. Now, I guess I'll, I'll put these together, but there's a correlation between having really good ROI and making sure you go above and beyond to make best offers and send messages, okay? So these are kind of two tips in one. I made sure my ROI standards were higher. So now I'm not doing like 20, 25, 30% ROI. I'm really trying to stay at 40% or more. Now I did make this change recently. I was going after a lot of 30% items, but I've noticed when I go after higher ROI items, I don't have as much pressure to have to get that minimum price. Sometimes I could come down a little bit. So it's like, you know, what do they say? Shoot for the stars, you'll land on the moon. It's like, shoot for the 50% ROI and maybe you settle for the 30%. So for me, number one, um, sending messages and best offers with my virtual assistants. So again, if you don't have a VA, check out the VA Training Academy or just set one up or invest in your team. But teach your team how to send messages and best offers and make sure you invest in you know, when they send offers, go back and, you know, double check what they're doing, give feedback, so on and so forth. But making best offers, sending messages and increasing my minimum ROI was huge because it, it allowed me to also be a bit more aggressive with my repricing on the back end with Be Cool. Um, the next tip, this is number six, focus on faster flipping items. I'm obviously reading from a list right here, but faster flipping items. Okay. So going after items that have a better rank, 
uh, better history of monthly sales, going after items that aren't super inflated. So that was a big mistake I made in 2022. I would, you know, my team and I, and this was on me, just I didn't train them as as good as I should have. We were going after items that we thought we were going to sell for 50, but if you look at the history, it's really a $40 item. It was just overly inflated. Um, maybe we were going after items where, you know, a bunch of sellers were coming on and it's like, listen, you know, if a ton of sellers come on and the sell through rate isn't as strong as you want, the price is probably going to tank. So like these were just little things that we would ignore that again, go back into investing into my virtual assistant. So we increased our minimum ROI standards. So right now I'm trying to really only source items 40% ROI or better. And last but not least, being extremely careful about IP complaints, okay? So I cover this a lot in my master class. Um, I've made videos about this as well. There's, I'm not gonna get super deep into this now, but making sure that I train my team how to be freaking ninjas when it comes to preventing IP complaints. If you're doing eBay to Amazon, thrifting, garage sales, selling your own crap around the house, you've got to make sure that you're not going to get an IP complaint. And all because Amazon says you can sell it doesn't mean you're not going to get an IP complaint. Okay. That's one of the biggest mistakes. Oh, Amazon said I was ungated. I could sell it. No, 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 no. You have to do your research. So if you're not using IP alert, definitely check it out. Rakenprofit.com slash IP alert. Get it, grab it. Um, they had a Black Friday sale. If they have it still, I'll put the coupon code down below for you guys. It was 40% off. I don't know if it still is because I'm recording this the day after Black Friday. But those are the seven tips, guys. Virtual assistants, train them, invest in them. If you haven't already or you're thinking about getting one, get the VA Academy. I'm telling you guys, it's a game changer. I expanded from DVDs into electronics and tools. Again, that's another fantastic course that I promise you, you get 10, 20 extra return very quick if you apply that and you're in the E to A flipping game, focused on higher ticket items. I raised my ASP from 38 to over 70. My team and I made more best offers. We sent more messages, again, investing in my VAs and training them to do that. We focused on higher um, or faster flipping items. So really paying attention to the number of sellers, sell through rates, um, you know, paying attention to the prices, if they were super inflated or not, because again, if they're inflated and then the price drops, we might hold on to items for too long. But looking at the number of sales, looking at Keepa, so on and so forth, we increased our minimum ROI standards, which gave us more flexibility with repricing and moving inventory. And we were extremely careful about IP complaints. So we, we, we started to dive into a lot more products that people would stay away from because they maybe looked a little sketchy, but we just spend a lot of time researching and testing and you know, going into the Keepa charts and IP alert. There's another one we use as well. I forget it's, um, I forget what it's called, but there's another tool that we also use as well. I'm pulling it up on my Amazon screen right now. Um, AZ Alert by Ace and Zen. That's another good one to help prevent IP um, complaints, so on and so forth. But hopefully that helps, guys. Appreciate you all. I'm actually at the casino right now at Mohegan Sun celebrating my mom's birthday. We got Mama Prophet, Prophet's birthday. It's really early morning. Check this out. It's beautiful. Taking it all in, but just wanted to share some value, guys. Again, if you haven't taken advantage of my Black Friday sales, use the code Black Friday um, at checkout, rakeandprofit.com slash Black Friday. You can see all my deals on the VA Academy, eBay to Amazon Masterclass. Uh, we have a Merchant Fulfilled program as well if you want to learn how to do that. And I mean, just a bunch of stuff. So check it out. Link down below. It's expiring in a couple of days. But with that being said, hopefully this helps. Much love. And I am pumped up about that $100,000 month. Let's go.